Hi, I'm John Beggy from Captivate Photography and today we're going to have a little look at where I work. I used to rent office space but I found it was too difficult with travelling around a lot. I don't spend a lot of time at home so I've gone back to working from home. So basically we're going to have a little tour of my house today so you can get a feel for it. Uh, a lot of people think that photographers make a lot of money and are really well off but I think you'll probably find that it's quite, quite basic surroundings I live in. Nothing fancy at all. But it works for me and let's go and have a look. Okay, so we're going to start with my living room, which is just through here. It's a nice open space, loads of natural light coming in from above as you can see. Um, it can be a bit damp at times, but it's nice and comfortable. Loads of natural light. I sometimes shoot portraits in here. Um, don't spend a lot of time at home these days. I tend to be on the road a lot, a lot so it's, uh, it's nice. No TV. Uh, never watch TV. Too much reality TV on these days and I really don't like it. So that's my living room area. So now we're moving on to the reception area. This is what you first see when you come into my house. Um, open plan. Again, nice open space. You can see the stairs that take us up, up to the bedrooms. Again, loads of nice natural light seeping in through that window. Okay, next we're moving on to the bathroom. Now I have to confess that the sink and the toilet are in a slight state of repair at the moment. Waiting for some plumbers to come in and fix them. We had a little bit of an accident last week with some sheep um, who unfortunately managed to break in. And uh, you can see what they've done to my sink. Well, this is the bathroom. Oh, there's me in the mirror. Okay, so next bit I want to show you, we're going to go upstairs, very carefully I have to say. I'm getting excited about that light that's coming in, it's very nice. It's the bedroom area. I know what you're thinking, where's the bed? Well I've got a sleeping bag that I keep in my car because I do travel a lot as most people know. So I just take it in at night when I need it. Nice big bedroom area, loads of space but you've got to be really careful if you need to go downstairs to the toilet during the night because there's a trap door. Which is quite useful if you want to get rid of any burglars in the middle of the night if they come in during darkness. But again, it's a safety hazard, you've got to be really careful around it. In the corner you'll see my brilliant collection of uh, wheels. You'll be wondering what these are, but these are actual wheels from chariots that the Romans used. Um, somebody said they were about a thousand years old. They're made from concrete or something similar. Very big heavy wheels bought these off eBay and I think they were about a thousand pound. Absolute snip collector's item. Okay so this is going to be another two bedrooms. Um, we're still working on it at the moment just waiting for painters to come in and finish it off and we'll be ready to move some beds in. Okay so now we're going to go downstairs. It's scary going downstairs actually, there's no banister on my staircase. It's one of those jobs you never get around to do it. Okay, so this is my studio. It's an open plan studio. As you can see, there's my tripod. Every good photographer has a tripod. As you know, never leave home without one. Even if you're going to trade shows, you always should carry one under your arm at all times. So this is the studio space. Loads of open space again. Lots of lovely natural light coming in from above, from our open windows. And that's the studio. So we're just about finished the tour of the house. Just got the conservatory to look at now. So we're just going to head out. It's very bright outside today. Yes, it is the conservatory. 
This is where I get all my ideas. I sit in here in the sunshine and relax with my feet up. And all the inspiration comes. This is where it all happens. 